Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you are new here, definitely do consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Okay, so what do you think about today's hairstyle? If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and I'll, I'll put my hat back on. Anyways, today's tutorial is about how you can lengthen or shorten an audio clip or a song within your video project, whether it's in uh, Premiere Pro or in Adobe Audition. Now you can do this standalone in Adobe Audition if you just want to change the length of a, of a song or a clip. But I'm going to show you how you would do this if you were editing a video and you wanted to change the length of the song to suit that video anyway. But the way Adobe Audition and Premiere Pro are set up is that you can switch between the two with a little or no hassle whatsoever. Okay, so on this timeline, we have a video clip and we have an audio clip. The length of this video is 24 seconds. And what we're trying to do here is to make this song short enough so that it matches the duration of this footage. Now, there's one easy way we can do it. We can just trim this audio and delete the part that we don't want. And there we go, very simple. You can add a fade out at the end and bobs your uncle however if you want it to be a bit more professional and you want it to really finesse this then what i'm going to show you here is how you can use the remix function to do that and this is in uh, audition so what we're going to do is right click on your audio clip edit clip in adobe audition and that is going to take your audio file or your audio clip into a new project in audition okay so now we are in adobe audition the first thing that we need to do is turn this into a multi-track project so there are two ways of doing that one if you come up to the top left here we can just hit the multi-track button or we can go file new multi-track session we're going to do both the same thing so we hit the multi-track button we create a new session save it and you click ok okay so now that we've created this multi-track session the first thing we're going to have to do is to enable remix on this particular track so make sure that that track is selected and we come over here on the left hand side and we're going to go under the properties section and you're going to hit the enable remix button alternatively you can go up to clip remix enable remix and they're going to both do the same thing so once you hit enable remix the software is going to analyze the track and it's now ready to be remixed so there's a couple of ways of going about this the first way is you're going to drag the handles the remix handles that is um, left or right, depending on if you want to lengthen or shorten the track. And you're just going to shorten it to your desired duration. So in this case, like I said, it was about 24 seconds. So if we bring it to about the 24 second mark and let go, we can see that. Let's just expand this. We can see that it's made some edits in here. And if you look at these lines, these are your edit points where the software has determined it can make a sneaky little cut and mix it back together without you even noticing what it's done. Essentially, that's what it's doing. Um, now that we've um, expanded this, we can then fine tune. So we said 24 seconds. So I'm just going to bring this all the way down here to 24 seconds and drop it again. It's, it'll do its thing. And now we have one, two, three, four cuts in here. Uh, let's just hear how this sound and we're going to play across the cuts to see if the software has done a good job or not. That was number one. That just went through the second cut and I couldn't hear anything. So there's two near the end, very close together. That could be tricky. Let's go and have a look at those ones. And that was mixed very, very nicely. So the second way that we can set the target duration of this track is coming over here again to the properties and just under the disable remix button, we have the target duration. And what you're going to do in here is you're going to type in your exact parameters, the seconds or minutes or however long that you want your track to be. Note it says here plus of five seconds. So the software is going to determine how best it's going to operate within those parameters. And that is the minimum. If we come down to the minimum slack, we can see five seconds is the lowest that we can have it. So bear in mind that this remix is going to happen, but it will happen within a 10 second of your target duration gap. In this particular scenario, we set 24 seconds, but it actually turned out to be 
27.378 seconds on the remix duration now if you really wanted to fine tune this and you definitely wanted to have 24 seconds then you can come down here to the advanced tab and you just tick stretch to exact duration and what that is going to do is put your track to the exact target duration this however it comes at a cost um what's going to happen here we're going to have stretching we're going to either have to stretch in or out the track so we can get it to the exact 24 seconds and let me explain okay so let's come up here and have a look at how this affected the track itself so we can see that the clip was stretched by 88 percent and this was to accommodate the extra three seconds to bring it down from 27 to exactly 24 seconds so that is what it is going to cost you what's going to happen is that the track is going to either have to speed up or slow down to accommodate your exact timing so in this case it has sped up the track by at least 12 percent to accommodate for this okay and if you are happy with the way it was sped up or slowed down then that is fine you can leave it as is um, for me, I wanted to keep it at the same or the original speed. So I'm going to untick stretch to exact duration. Another feature that you can use to fine tune this even further is the edit length. So the edit length is essentially the distance between these cuts, between these edit points right here. And in my opinion, the longer that duration is, the better the mix and the remix is going to be. But you can... Um, shorten the length between those let's bring it down to the shortest length and we can see we've introduced at least eight more edit points in here which if you're not careful your audio is going to or your clip or your song is going to end up sounding really you know choppy as it goes through the the remix so i tend to leave this all the way up on the long end of the spectrum at 100. we have got a couple of uh, features here that you can use to fine tune this even further um i don't usually use this features or, or the minimum loop. I usually leave those as, as default, but you can uh, mess around with those and see what results you get. Okay, now once we are happy with this particular remix, what we're going to do is take this back into Premiere Pro. So to do that, we go File, Export, Export to Premiere Pro, and it gives you the ability to save this new track wherever you wanna save it. And it also gives you the option to open this in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what we want to do in this particular instant. So we hit export. Once you get back into Premiere Pro, it's gonna ask you if you want to copy that new audio track to this active sequence. I'm gonna click yes, because that is what I want to do. And once I click okay, we can see that it's added this new track on our timeline. And what we can do is just delete our old track or move it out of the way. And there we have something that is going to fit the duration of our footage okay so in case you're wondering whether or not this would work on tracks with vocals laid on top of it as well yes it can but it's going to be a lot more tricky um, and a lot less forgiven than if you were just to use this on an instrumental track imagine trying to remix a song that has vocals in it you're going to definitely notice where the words don't flow or they or they don't match up at all um, you can get away with it and I've, I've tried it but it all depends on the length that you're trying to achieve or how much you are trying to remix that song and that is pretty much it for this one today guys uh, if you found any value in this video at all do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you have any issues or you know when you come to do this if you have any questions just drop it and i might be able to help you out. i might be able to answer your questions but that is it for today guys uh, keep creating be good and i'll see you guys on the next video peace